What you eat can literally kill you. A hundred years ago, most folks consumed only four pounds of sugar a year. That's this much. Now, however, the average person takes in 40 times this amount, 160 pounds of sugar a year. That's this much. Nutritional data shows that this 15-ounce bottle has about the same amount of sugar as 10 Oreo cookies. beautiful people welcome back to my channel or if you're new here I'm Stephanie I have a passion for fitness and for making others laugh so don't forget to subscribe that way you become a part of my YouTube family and this week I challenge myself to do a week without processed sugars let's start with what the recommended daily allowance of sugar is for an average person it's about six to nine teaspoons of sugar a day how much are we getting? Over twice that amount, and the estimates now are that the average American is consuming about 90 pounds of sugar a year. Even a glass of skim milk has around 11 grams of sugar. Sugar is in fact toxic. It even suggested sugar is as dangerous as cigarettes and alcohol. A clear relationship between sugar and cancer leads scientists to two conclusions. Sugar use contributes to cancer, and going without it can slow growth of the disease. Food manufacturers add enormous amounts of sugar, usually in the form of high fructose corn syrup, to products we consume all day every day. Coffee drinks and cereal, soda and snacks, even foods you wouldn't expect like spaghetti sauce and peanut butter. This tiny container of yogurt contains more sugar than a candy bar. I thought that after the 10,000 calorie challenge, I wouldn't have any cravings because I had so much sugar, you know, but I was wrong. Sunday morning, I was fine, but then at night, oh, I wanted cookies, I wanted chocolates. I had so many cravings and it was very hard for me. Roll the clip. My sister and Kevin are eating the rest of the treats that I didn't open yesterday. No, I want a cookie and I cannot have one. Mm. This just proves that the more sugars you have, the more you crave them. When I eat less sugar, I feel like the less I crave it. And when I start having more sugar and more chocolate and stuff, the more I crave it. I know that everyone is like this. So let's see if you can do this challenge next. Let's just go back to Sunday, the first day of the challenge and see what I've been eating this week. If you go to my latest video, you kind of can see some of my meals and my body transformation throughout the week. So I recommend you to do that. It's been hard, you know, sugar is on everything in 90% of the stuff that you see at the market right now I'm not gonna have some breakfast cuz I'm so full from yesterday I think I'm only gonna have a banana and some coffee so I just have here some leftover salmon and some Brussels sprouts. That's how I had Sunday. I wasn't hungry at all because it was the day after the 10,000 calorie challenge. Oh, and I also had a smoothie. I've been having smoothies every day. If you guys know me, you know that. Sunday, the sugar cravings start hitting at night. All I could think was... So I went to bed earlier and I drank tons of water. I feel like water always helps with sugar cravings. Water and fruit. Monday I didn't woke up too hungry. I would say that Monday was really easy for me, probably the easiest day of the week. So I had a smoothie before my workout and then after my workout I had an omelette. I always like to have protein after my workout. For dinner I had some chicken, sweet potatoes and broccoli. Drinking a black coffee. I forgot to show you my smoothie. It had kiwi, blueberries, spinach, banana, and almond butter. I know it looks kind of gross, but it's delicious. say it was a bit more harder than Monday. I was craving a s'mores cookie after my workout. You know, those s'mores cookies that I'm obsessed with. Yeah. I had a bowl of fruit instead and I had so much water. I've been drinking so much water this week. It's unbelievable, guys. I've been peeing a lot. 
I woke up so hungry and with a huge headache. Oh my gosh, it was a hard morning, guys. For breakfast, I had a toast with almond butter and banana, one of my favorite breakfast meals ever. You know that my favorite breakfast meal is a bagel with vegan butter, turkey ham, and egg, but I cannot have that this week because bagels have sugar added. So that's probably been the worst part about this challenge, you know, guys, because I really miss my bagel. Obviously, I have another smoothie and I also had a Lara bar. Do you know that Lara bars don't have any sugar added? Most of the protein bars, unfortunately, they have sugar added. And I love protein bars, so that really upsets me. And Wednesday, I had the same thing as Tuesday for dinner. And it's actually the same thing that I'm gonna have today. Some hot dog with cucumbers and sweet potatoes. Thursday I woke up feeling so good, full of energy and motivated for the day. I had a big breakfast. In the afternoon I had a smoothie, some fruit and some skinny pop. At night I was craving a burger so so bad guys. So me and Kevin ended up making a burger at home. The only problem was to find a burger bread without any sugar. Honestly I couldn't find any. I was so upset. We ended up having a burger with other type of breads but it was delicious. And it was a burger with hot dog fish. Today is Friday, we only have two more days until this challenge is over. Let me show you what I had for breakfast today. I apologize, my camera died. I'm about to have dinner now. I'm gonna have one of my last meals in the fridge, some hot dog with sweet potatoes and cucumbers. I know that tomorrow is gonna be the hardest day because tomorrow I have lunch with my mom, my godmother, my grandmother, and my sister. And I know that is gonna be challenging because I cannot ask for dessert and I'm already thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning beautiful people. I hope you all having a great weekend. Today is Saturday and I just finished breakfast and got ready. As you guys know, I'm having lunch with my family. That's why I had a low carb breakfast. And right now I'm actually gonna look up for the menu of the restaurant online to see what I can eat. I'm not gonna fail this challenge. <laughs> Lunch was delicious. I'm still full. Probably I'm gonna have a Lara bar soon because I'm craving one. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner yet. Good morning, beautiful people. Currently, I'm having my chamomile tea. I usually never have tea in the morning. Today, I decided to go for it. This is the last day of the challenge, so why not? And guys, I bought a new chair yesterday. I love it, it's so nice. After we had lunch, we went to Urban Planet and when I saw this chair, I felt in love immediately. And now it's mine. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today, full of energy. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the less sugar you eat, the less you crave it. And that's how I feel now. I don't know where I'm gonna have for breakfast yet, but I will show you guys that. And for dinner, I'm gonna have the same thing as yesterday. And I also wanna show you guys what's inside of my fridge, cause I feel like this is a perfect time to do that. Welcome to my fridge, you guys. On the top I have bread and fruit. In the middle I have veggies and eggs. Here I have some milk, egg whites, yogurt, and all the sauces. Bagels, I didn't have any bagels this week because they have sugar added. This is the bread that I like. It has no sugar, grapes, blueberries, blackberries. I love my berries. And some strawberries. And then we have some hummus and vegan butter. In the second shelf we have some spinach, three big bags of spinach, some asparagus, and Brussels sprouts, cucumber, some green onions, green bell pepper, and some red bell pepper. In here I have some eggs. In the bottom I have some cashew milk, some egg whites, some brown rice, English muffins. These are delicious. Sweet pimento paste. This doesn't have any sugar added. Mayo, pickles, Kevin's jelly, plain yogurt, but I didn't have yogurt this week. This is from my 10,000 calorie challenge. Also, no sugar. And then some syrup. 
In this store over here, we have ham, we have vegan cheese, sausage, some pepperoni, and then we have apples, oranges, a kiwi, and some garlic. More cashew milks, more egg whites, sugar-free maple syrup. I couldn't have this this week. Or ketchup, mustard, sriracha sauce, this creamer that is delicious. I miss it. In the freezer, I have some salmon, shrimp, and chicken, some frozen broccoli. I also have this hot dog fish, no sugar, and some frozen bananas and strawberries. Today's breakfast is a sandwich with vegan cheese and turkey ham, some strawberries, one egg, one cup of egg whites, and some green onions in my tea. Right now, I'm actually about to conclude editing today's video. That is this one, so I need to hurry up. Yeah, this challenge was challenging. The first days were the hardest ones, and then it got better. Like today, I'm feeling super good. I'm not craving sugar at all. The Lara bars help a lot. The hardest thing for me was not having ketchup because I'm obsessed with ketchup and I put ketchup in everything and not having bagels because I love my bagels and you guys know that. I would say that I didn't follow this challenge 100% unfortunately. I had one chocolate that it said no sugar added but then it had this other sweetener that I never heard about. That was my only mistake. No, not my only one. I also had three scoops of protein powder this week and they have one gram of sugar. I could have bought other protein powder but yeah, I didn't. In a scale 1 to 100, I give myself 95% in this challenge. So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna conclude this video with the physique update and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you're not a part of my YouTube family. I love you. I hope you all have a great week. Remember that you're beautiful. You're never alone. Thank you all for watching. Bye.